Hi, I know a lot of you are excited like I am that Cricut Design Space has added the ability to upload your own images from the mobile app. But the drawback, of course, is that we can't upload SVGs yet. And so if you have a JPEG that's not transparent, it requires a lot of cleanup to get ready to import. But I found a way to use another website to do this for you quickly, and I want to show you how that works. So I'm going to go to Safari, and I'm going to bring up www.298.lunapic.com. And when you come to the home page, you'll see a big blue browse button. So you want to click that and then you want to click on photo library and you can go to your camera roll and get anything that you've previously put there. I've got a coloring book image I'm going to use for this demo. Click this three bar menu button. Then I'm going to click on edit and I'm going to scroll the way to the bottom and click on transparent. Now, when you clean up images in Cricut Design Space, the part of the image you click becomes transparent. But when you're in this mode in Lunapic, when you click on a color, it makes all of that color transparent. This is a feature I'd love to see Design Space add, but until they do, we can use Lunapic as an interim. So I'm going to click over here in the upper left on any white pixel will work. And when I tap, it's going to make all of that white transparent. So now you can see that it's as if it had been a transparent PNG to begin with. To save this to my camera roll, I tap and hold and I get this menu pops up. It gives me the option to save image. And when I do that goes right to my camera roll. So we can go back to Cricut Design Space, click the new upload button, select from camera roll and find that image we just saved. We want the most recent one because that's the one that's transparent. And you'll see that there is no cleanup. It's all transparent, just like we showed. So you just click the next button, click the next button, give it a name and save it. So now it will appear in our uploaded images as the most recent so we can tap on it and insert it onto our mat. And there we go. We have a cuttable image ready to go. So maybe you're already using Adobe Capture or IMA Engine mobile apps to process your photos for design space. Those don't create transparent images either. So again, we can use the Lunapic as an interim step. So we go back to Lunapic, click on the three bars, go to File, Open Image, and here you'll see we have lots of choices. We can even open from a URL. But again, I'm going to go back to my device and it'll bring up the same window we started with. I click the Browse button, Photo Library, and I'm going to get an image that I saved from IMA Engine earlier. I'm going to go back to the three bars, back to Edit, back to Transparent, it does have ads. I have to close that out. All right, so this is kind of large, but I can just tap on any white area. And then you'll see that it's taken all of the white and made it transparent in one click. So same steps, save image, go back to Cricut Design Space, select from camera roll. I'm going to get the most recent one because that's the one that's transparent. There's no cleanup there. Click Next. We might want to use Despeckle on this one. Click Next. Name it. Save it. Click it. Insert it. And there you go. So you can see that going through Lunapic saves a lot of time versus having to tap each enclosed area in an image. I hope you found this useful. Thanks again for watching.